dark area, background completely black in the street. I see this man who's playing cello. And this was a car bomb blast that just happened a few hours ago in Baghdad. And this odd thing happens, the, music, uh, the musician playing um, in the middle of the street, in the middle of the actual explosion. And then he goes into the explanation, which is, you know, the point of this is defeating terror, war, and violence with beauty, music, and refinement. We've now reached the end of a two and a half day workshop. And one of our main conclusions is that a lot of what we do is relating to um, peace building in fragile context. We tend to be very technocratic. And Fragile post-conflict societies are hurting. It's like a body that hurts. And you don't only heal a body that hurts with um, technocratic approaches. You also need to touch the souls and to turn technocrats into sages. This is some of the main conclusions that we had. Um, I was very touched and that very evening I'm basically sitting in front of my computer and crying as I'm watching this and I think this is so beautiful. And um, this is why I was uh, trying to invite Karen to, uh, to come here. Because not only did he start to do that, he was touched and he wanted to do something at a personal level. He was showing personal leadership. On what can you do to defeat terror? And um, this is not the standard approach when you try to uh, do countering violent or preventing violent extremism. Point one. So it's unusual, it's creative. Point two, he's taking shared, you know, he's taking leadership in his own hands. He doesn't wait to be placed in that position to do so. Um, and point three, it goes beyond just this individual performance because he's basically um, doing these performances in different places, inspiring youth, and now other youth uh, actually who were former um, terrorists or uh, part of armed groups are uh, playing music as well. And it helps them basically heal, and it helps them give stability, and it helps them being introduced back into society. So it's not only about livelihoods, it's also about touching this, this other dimension of us. And um, I would like to um, stop here, uh, let Karim uh, present it himself, and let you experience it yourself, and then you can judge it for yourself. some of your desires to include spiritual. Um, uh, you said most of uh, what I've been trying to convey actually since 2005, 2006, the verge of almost civil war in Iraq. I was originally invited um, next week uh, for the uh, Geneva Peace Talks and I will be performing and also participating but uh, <coughs> um, very shortly I would say it doesn't surprise me anymore <clears throat> when knowledge meets experience. I'm so happy to realize that uh, places like the GCSP actually exist. And I think um, it comes, you know, having all um, 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 uh, different layers of experience and knowledge, as well as the, uh, the, the great energy that every individual over here brings into the, this melting pot of creativity, will soon hopefully turn the GCSP into a global entity versus a regional entity. I'm not, yeah, I'm not very familiar with, with the affiliations, but uh, this is a very successful approach towards resolving uh, some of the dangers and um, some of the risks that might actually be developing to the future. Uh, I said, not as a musician, but as someone who also, had also worked with uh, risk prevention and uh, fighting against terror through different tools to include refinement and civility, but to, to prioritize refinement and civilization and cultivation, uh, that if, if we're looking at the present dangers, uh, then we're late. So hopefully we can all contribute uh, towards preventing bad things from happening, uh, towards um, eliminating the dangers and the, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 
the impending, impending view of uncertainty that we, we sometimes uh, limit our sales or our uh, analysis to, but be proactively uh, uh, working towards defeating uh, extremism, uh, lack of um, uh, integration, mutual understanding, and coexistence. These are the things that will keep us civilized alive, <coughs> and these are the things that will <coughs> enable us to help other nations uh, and other uh, cultures to actually uh, adapt a civilized approach to his life. It's how we live, not why we die. So I do um, uh, appreciate your, your, your moral support and will always be defeating terror, extremism, uh, the improvised ways of death and killings by civilization, refinement, uh, perseverance, dedication, and good doing. So thank you all for being who you are, and thank you GCSB for being who you are, and we have a brighter future if we have more of this. Thank you. Karim is also Karim Wasfield, the conductor of the ba Baghdad Symphony Orchestra. Uh, well. You're welcome to surrender and close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and remind you for a. Uh, uh, the toughest problem you might face, there's a very uh, easy way to start it. Two words, inhale and exhale. <laughs>
Karen, um, I was wonderful, um, and, and I hope this uh, uh, touches uh, an element of you know, um, peace building is not only um, repairing the bodies but also the souls or, or the minds. Um, and I'm happy you were here to experience it yourself. Would you, just in a, a few minutes, because I'm mindful of my colleagues who, who have uh, will be at the end of lunch break coming here, but I, what I'd really like to is to for you to explain in a few words on on how this idea actually started, because you've started an organization, uh, Peace to Arts, and and um, um, and you told us a few days ago this started at 9/11. So I'd love to hear how somebody who lives safely in, um, at the moment of 9-11 in the, uh, the U.S. decides to go back to Baghdad and do what you do. So if you can just tell us uh, a little bit about that. Peace to us is an initiative and uh, we find peace in ourselves first and then we try to share it with others and we try to convey it to others in, a, in different manners and different ways. Um, the concept was, is still, um, again, refinement and civilization um, in the face of uh, intimidation, ignorance, uh, brainwash, and the monopolization and the use of many things as pretext uh, to include religion, to include economical uh, instability and so forth. In some cases, it is the case. We do have cultures and uh, societies with certain economical instabilities that might actually boost um, extreme impact on people to be uh, acting in a certain way. My concept is a proactive approach towards development, towards um, a multi-layer in the mind, um, uh, functioning, uh, uh, functioning in, 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 in different parallel lines, um, towards proactively uh, preventing things from deteriorating on one hand. On the other hand, encouraging and helping and assisting, not enforcing, but assisting and helping others to realize that there are better ways they probably did not know about uh, to live and to survive and to coexist and to integrate and to mutually understand each other what different cultures are about, but not to resolve disagreements through killings and intimidation. So um, focusing on youth and focusing on the future leaders, my um, commitment was to inspire future leaders, and they didn't have to be always Middle Easterns. Uh, they can, can be even Europe, it can be America, it could be the Far East, it could be anywhere. And um, I wouldn't be uh, scaring you if I say that, as I said earlier in our session this morning, that the danger is actually in our backyard. And when sometimes we realize that, it means it's a bit time to act and it's a bit late. It's like the brain. I connect everything to the extremely harmonious and organized system of the universe. We are, every one of us has at least 400 billion cells that every one of them tells who they are, what they like, what they dislike, what kind of food, perfume, concept, ideologies, beliefs or disbeliefs or whatever. So connecting all this in, within, within a certain approach towards life, uh, there are ways actually to help others and there are ways to prevent um, uh, things from deteriorating. So Peace to Arts as an initiative and as a functioning um, entity, it's a non-governmental entity, um, it doesn't belong to any uh, ideology or any belief, the only ideology and belief there is is how to make a choice, how to make a clearer choice, and how to enable uh, others to integrate and how to jointly and with full, uh, 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 full level of, 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 of uh, compassion but also uh, partnership uh, that different people can coexist and can function. Um, so focusing on youth uh, through um, the science of sound, through uh, um, science, through music, through improvisations. Um, I've created three orchestras, youth orchestras around Iraq uh, and an army <laughs> of musicians who would be willing to uh, act. And what I mean by that is self-confidence, self-esteem, education, and awareness, and a higher level of consciousness to enable them to make clearer decisions. It's very easy, it became very easy to intimidate those who are frustrated, those who are poor, those who are uneducated, to actually be the tools of the next wars and the next conflicts, if not wars. 
So the best outcome of the universe uh, can be human beings, and it, it, we owe to it deserves that uh, the greatest asset we have is, is people, and people can be easily misled and misused. And to prevent that, I was uh, and still and will go always uh, going to be focusing on awareness, education, knowledge as a as a tool and as a weapon against intimidation and uprising, uh, and uh, 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 self-empowering and confidence and inspiring future leaders.